Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first Cause they're really loyalty when you're at your worst We need to hit it raw like the wire You're looking for some truth, I'll supply it If you want it too soft, this ain't deal You gon' choose a law of a sin This just some uncut gems This just some uncut gems We was diamonds in the dirt just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion, we the church. Different color fringes is looking vibrant on my shirt, and time lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on a curb. Start off by saying, call him all Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father, who is only begotten Son, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ, all right? The Savior for the Israelites. Not all you other nations out here, all right? So, spoiler alert, who the world ignorantly called Jesus only died for the Israelites, you know? And that's in the Bible right there. So, give me that. Give me Acts 529. Let's start it off with something basic to get that, get that point across right there. Because there's a lot of lies been being perpetuated out here. Give me that. It's the book of Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. Obey who? God rather than men. Yeah, so we ought to obey the Heavenly Father rather than men. All right, because a lot of y'all go by what men say. But we go by what the Heavenly Father say, all right? Good. What's up with it, bro? What you got going today? Working. Just, just working, all right? More than likely you an Israelite. Repent, all right? The God of our fathers raised up Jesus. With damn Israelites. Hey, give me Jeremiah 2 and 14. I'm going to show you why you're working, man. Because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father. All right, give me Jeremiah 2 and 14. Stay there. All right, all right. He damn This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 14. Go ahead. Yeah. Is Israel a servant? Is what? Is Israel a servant? Yeah, so the, the, um, the Heavenly Father asking, is Israel a servant? Go ahead. Is he a homeborn slave? Is he a what? Is he, is he a, a homeborn home slave? slave? Is he a, a homeborn slave? And a lot of our people got that homeborn slave mentality because we in this predicament because we disobeyed the commandments of the Heavenly Father, all right, as Israelites. So that's why you in this predicament. So if you would have stayed, you would have seen why you working right now. Why you going through this? Why you in this predicament, all right? Why is he spoiled? Why is he spoiled? All right, because y'all got spoiled by all the other nations. All right, they took part in our spoil. So all these other nations got a judgment coming to them from the Heavenly Father because of what they did to the Israelites, all right? The so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. This is the book of Micah, chapter 3, verse 8. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. And truly, we're full of power by the Spirit of Yahweh, all right? The Heavenly Father, the Lord God of Israel. So that's what, through the Spirit, that's the only reason we out here. Because we full of power through the Spirit of the Heavenly Father, man. We wouldn't be out here if it was for our, if, if, it was, if it was up to us, we wouldn't be out here. It's through the power of Yahweh. Give me that. And of judgment. And of what? And of judgment. And of judgment. So we out here to give judgment, all right? You know, you know we gonna give judgment on you, boy? All right, get ready to be a slave, all right? Finish, man. What's up with it, bro? What you got going, man? Let me show you something right quick before you go. This is your, give me um, Proverbs 20 and 29. Give me uh, 12 and 2. All right, you just having a nice little day out here? I'm Taz, bro. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Dylan. Dylan. All right. Like Corey Dylan, you remember him? just playing <laughs> in the NFL, huh? He was called, watch this. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 20, verse 29. You believe in God? You believe in God? All right, let me show you the glory of young men is their strength. Yeah, the glory of young men is their strength. So that's why you see young men out here through the spirit of the Lord now doing what we're supposed to do when serving our creator in our young days when we got the strength. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the glory of young men. Go ahead. And the beauty of old men. And the beauty of old men, our elders, are, you know, the older men of our nation. Go ahead. Is the gray head. Is the gray head. Because they're supposed to signify wisdom. So that's what our men need to be out here reaching for is wisdom because the wisdom bone it leads to incorrupt in, incorruptibility, all right? Give me um give me a please ask these eight from the top. Watch this. This is the book of Daniel chapter this is the book of Daniel chapter twelve and verse three. 
and they that be wise. And they that be wise. That's what the Heavenly Father is saying. That wisdom I was telling you, they that be wise, who, who stop and get the wisdom and the knowledge that the Lord offering, God, shall shine. Shall what? Shall shine. Shall shine. So that's why you're going to be shining. When you got the Spirit of the Lord on you, getting that wisdom, living your life in that right direction, you're going to shine. God. Shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. As the brightness of the firmament, you know, in the, in the sky. Go ahead. And they that turn many to righteousness. And they that turn many into righteousness. So through the Spirit of the Lord, we out here trying to turn our people into, you know, to a life of righteousness. Because they're doing a lot of what, you know, everything that's contrary to what the Heavenly Father wants us to be doing. So through the Spirit of the Lord, we out here trying to turn our people to righteousness. And look what the Lord think about that. Go ahead. As the stars forever, I do what? As the stars forever uh -huh. and ever. So ones that turn to righteousness gonna shine like the stars forever and ever. Don't you want to be in that predicament right there? there you already there. All right. Well, you need to be teaching. You ever heard your Israelite before? No. You haven't. Well, you. That's the knowledge you're supposed to have. If you got the wisdom, you're supposed to know your ethnicity. All right. So you. So you heard your Israel. Now you know you're Israelite. What you know about the Israelites in the Bible? Let me show you. Before you go, First Peter two and nine. Because you got to know this about your heritage. Because a lot of people don't know, like, our progeny, so we don't know what we're doing in life. We think we just niggas, this and that. All we can do is play basketball, make it to the NFL. But it's more than that. All right, because the Lord blessed us with a different spirit. Give me that. You there? Give me first speaker to and we we'll get there. So you just out here chilling today? Nah, all right, babe. Look what the Lord think about the Israelites, man. Just the book of First Peter, chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation. You are what? A chosen generation. All right, so the Lord saying the Israelites, they are chosen generation. Chosen. So knowing that you are ethnic Israelite, you got to know you chosen from the Heavenly Father. And he gave us a set of commandments, codified commandments that we need to do for our moral compass every day. You know what I'm saying? A royal priesthood. A royal priesthood. You royal. So now you know you're Israelite, you got to know you royal now, God. And holy nation. Holy nation. So our whole nation holy, but now we just in a downtrodden state that we're trying to teach our people through the spirit of the Lord to get back to that on top like we was, you know what I'm saying? Before we got taught all this madness over here, you know what I'm saying, God? A peculiar people. Peculiar people, go ahead. That you should shoot forth the praises of him. You should shoot forth the praises of him. The most high, the heavenly father. Because if it weren't for him, we'll be in an even worse predicament. But he had mercy on us, you know, because it tell you the Lord mercy fail not, so Jacob won't be consumed. So if it weren't for the Lord mercy, we wouldn't have made it through none of that 500, that, that slavery, that, that chattel slavery we was going through. But the Lord had mercy. Watch this. Guy. Of him who have called you out of this darkness, called you out of darkness, because all of us right here, before we knew this, we was in darkness. We was just in the world doing, you know, thinking we're going to do this and that. We weren't really focused, per se, on doing the commandments of the Lord and doing what we're supposed to do and having that faith, God. Into his marvelous light. To his what? Into his marvelous light. To that marvelous light. You see, the Bible stay talking about that light. That wisdom represents light. In that light right there is talking about who the world ignorantly called Christ because he the light. Light has came into the world, but men hate light. They like darkness rather than light. You got to be one of the ones that want to like that light, be reproved, and know what you like, know, know where you came from. You know what I'm saying? You gotta repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Alright, know you're an Israelite. Alright, repent. All right. All right, look into it. Look into it. Alright, All right, Dylan. Alright, go back to um, what was that, Mike? Now you can give me Jeremiah 13 to 10. What's up, bro? How you doing? You alright? You ever heard you the chosen, you, you you the chosen people of God? You ever heard that before? Alright, you better repent, man. Alright. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 13, verse 10. This evil people. Yeah, this evil people. Hey, how you doing, sis? You believe in God? You do? Well, you got to repent if you believe in God and keep his commandments, all right? Go ahead. Which refuse to hear my word. Yeah, which refuse to hear, his, um, hear the heavenly father's words, all right? But Dylan, he stayed and listened. How you doing, sir? What's your ethnicity? Huh? I, more than likely, you're an Israelite, man. I right, more than likely you a damn devil right there. That's bro. right, right. right. Here, Which walk in the imagination of their heart. Yeah, they walk in the imagination of their heart. So a lot of our people, they walk in the oh God don't I can do this and God know my heart. He doing you walking in your own vain imagination. 
which is vanity, which not going to add up to nothing. All right, but getting that damn second death if you don't repent. All right, go ahead. And walk after other gods. Walk after what? After other gods. Yeah, they, so our people into all type of, you know, uh, so-called religions out here. All right, damn Muslim, what else? Hinduism, all that. They walking after other gods. But Christianity, that said, um, Islam, that says right boys in right there. That's their God right there, the damn devil, man. All right, so our people walk after these other gods. Go ahead. To serve them. To do what? To serve them. To serve them. All right, because even our ancestors was doing the same thing. Give me 2 Kings 18 and 4. All right, go ahead. And to worship them. What? And to worship them. And to worship them. But you're supposed to be worshiping Yahweh. All right? That's what you're supposed to That's what the true worshipers of the Most High are supposed to do. They're supposed to worship the Heavenly Father in truth and in spirit. I in the in the truth is the word of the Lord. They tell you that in John 17 and 17. So we trying to sanctify y'all through the spirit of the Lord. But a lot of y'all don't want to be clean, man. Y'all want to stay damn filthy, man. All right, go ahead. Shall even be as this girdle. Shall even be as this girdle. So the Lord telling, the Lord telling Jeremiah, he told Jeremiah to put a girdle on. You know, basically to give him a give him an example of Israel to him by that girdle. So the Lord said. Read that part again about the girdle. Shall even be as this girdle. So the Israelites, our people, shall even be as the girdle that Jeremiah, Jeremiah put on. Go ahead. Which is good for nothing. Which is what? Good for nothing. It's in the Bible. The, the Heavenly Father said y'all good for nothing. So if you're not keeping the commandments and having faith in Yahweh Shah, you, your damn life will waste, man. It's vanity. So you good for nothing. This is the only thing. Give me Ecclesiastes 12. This, this the whole duty of man is to keep the commandments and have faith, all right? Because without faith, it's impossible to please the Heavenly Father. So we trying to please the Heavenly Father. We ain't trying to be on this bad side, all right? But if you ain't doing that, you good for nothing, all right? If you don't repent, you good for nothing, go ahead. Hey, how you doing, sir? You believe in God? Why not? Well, more than likely, God going to put your ass to death, man. All right, right. Get ready for it, man. This is the book of 2 Kings, chapter 18 and verse 4. He removed the high places. He removed the high places. All right? Why well, people, they're talking about that idolatry right there, guys. And break the images. Break the images, read on. And cut down the groves. Cut down the what? Cut down the groves. And breaking the pieces, the the brazen, oh no, the brass and serpent. The, what? The brass and serpent, brass and serpent that Moses had made. Uh, hey, how you doing, man? What you, you believe in God? You believe in God? <laughs> sure, you, you, you don't really know. What's your ethnicity, by the way? Oh, you Japanese. Okay, what you doing over here? You was born over here? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, well, just know the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, they the chosen people of God. All right, so all the other nations that did all that wickedness to them, they going in slavery for what they did to them. What you think about that? Do you think, do you think the people that put... You ever heard about? You see that right there? What you think should happen to the people that did that to us? Repeat the history? We shouldn't. Wouldn't that be justice, though? Huh? We should get who justice? Yeah, we should get justice right. Let me show you. It's biblical. Give me Joe. Give me um, Galatians six and seven right before you go. You believe in the Bible? You never read it. Well, let me show you something about the Bible. That the God of the Bible, what he believe in. He believe in justice, all right? This is the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. You can't be deceived out here. Ain't this right? Even when you're on your job, you can't let nobody deceive you. You got to at least have your wits about you and know what's going on, right? That's the only way you're going to succeed in this world. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. So you can't mock God, God. For what, whatsoever a man soweth. For whatever you sow of, you know, like if you got seeds and you sow that, whatever you sow of, God. That shall he also reap. What? That shall he also reap. That shall he also reap. So whatever you sow, you're going to reap. And these people right here sow nothing but rape, rob, and murder, so they got to reap that. So it's going to come a time where it's going to get turned around. It's going to be a whole 180, and they're going to be the people that's getting basically the... What you would say the calamities on them, you know what I'm saying? What you think about it? Ain't this right? Wouldn't that be right though? Ain't this just 
Yeah. What's so hard? Uh, he can go back to work, man. Uh, you going into slavery too, damn, uh, Sue Young. I was being nice to your ass, man. Give me that. Hey, what you doing, bro? What's your ethnicity? You Mexican? Let me show you something about how the Mexican people are the chosen people of God. All right, well, no, you're an Israelite, man. You better repent, all right? In 2 Kings chapter 18, verse 4, you remove the high places and break the images and cut down the growth. Hey, sir, how you doing? Doing good. How Let me ask you doing? something, man. What's up? You believe in God? Uh, it's questionable. It's questionable. Why you say that? It's kind of how I feel. How you feel, but, like, what's your, you ain't got no... I, no I, facts I, to prove why you, you know, it's questionable? I just don't have faith. You don't got faith? Okay, okay. So, you know, faith, you without having faith, you finish, basically. How you ain't got faith? Do you got faith? Okay. You got faith in America? Uh, All right, but how, so how you got faith? Not so, not, not, not so much. You got faith in America, but you don't got faith in the, the, the creator? How's that work, man? You do got faith in America, man, because you're walking around here, smiling, having a great time. Yeah, he, you, did you vote for Joe Biden? Okay, you got faith in America. You got faith in America then, man. But I had faith. You know, I, okay, I lived in China for a couple, for a couple of years. Okay. And I walked around freely there, too. Okay. But you voted for Joe Biden, so you, you had some type of faith. Or, you know, you felt some type of way that he was the man that could do the job to help this going. Okay, but why you didn't like Trump, though? I'm saying. So you had some type of, hold on. You had some type of faith in Biden that he would lead something in the right direction. I, I don't have faith that our president does anything. Okay. Any president. So what you feel like they control by a different. Okay, yeah, I, I believe you. Did you vote for Obama? Okay, you voted. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, but look, according to the Bible, all so-called Caucasians, y'all going into slavery for what y'all did to the um, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. You, but that's right. That's justice. You do believe in justice, right? That's right. That's all we are. We are here teaching justice, man. Because, you know, justice is it's really not out here, man. So we got we to gotta be the ones that come out here and put it. Let me show you something right before you go. Give me Revelation 13. Give me um, Revelation 13 and 10. Let me give you something quick before you go. Just to set the tone. Go ahead, Oh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 9. Okay. And if any man have an ear, let him hear. If you got ear, let you hear. If you got spiritual understanding. Because everybody got ears, but everybody can't hear. He that leadeth into captivity, he that leadeth into captivity, y'all, you agree, Caucasians led us in captivity, right, God? Shall go into captivity. Shall, shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. So you need to have faith in knowing that you're going into slavery for what your ancestors did, man. Can't change it. Can't there we go, man. Give him a hand clap. This is God know, man. All right, well, we hate you, all right? That's right. That's right. The hell out of all right, man. Go watch your damn Miami Vice and have a nice day. What okay, I hope. I told you the whole thing. Wait, we, um, we can finish it. What did it say? Uh, and breaking the pieces, the brass serpent. That brass serpent? So they let you know our people, we was even worshiping the serpent. That Moses had put up in the wilderness. We had kept the we had kept the serpent and was worshiping it, going into idolatry, man. Go ahead. That Moses had made. That what? That that Moses had made. For until those days, the children of Israel did burn incense to it. We was burning incense to it. So that's the same thing now. Our people into all these other gods and all all this other idolatry. It's the same thing that was going on, man. It's nothing new under the sun. So them same spirits coming back and doing what they was basically made to do. You know what I'm saying? And give me um give me Amos 6 and start at verse 3. Hey how y'all doing today man? Y'all doing okay today? Y'all believe in God? Yep. Alright well know y'all the Israelites and y'all gotta repent. Alright? Y'all gotta keep God's commandments. That's the only way we gonna get saved, alright? Alright. So do that. Get your life right, alright? You too. Alright? This is the book of Amos chapter 6 verse 3. He that put far away the evil day caused the seat of violence to come near. Go ahead. That lie upon beds of ivory. That lie upon beds of ivory. Alright, so our people living delicious right now. They lying on beds of ivory. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. They ain't thinking about the atrocities that happen in their people. 
getting choked out, getting killed. I know I'm the so-called black man getting killed by these damn honkies, man. All right? They don't care about that, go ahead. And stretch themselves upon their couches. Stretch yourself upon their couches. What's up with it, bro? You doing all right? Hey, you know we had diamonds in our mouth in the Bible. Can I show you? Come on, oh, you go right quick. Give me wisdom of Solomon 1 and 10. Give me Ezekiel 16 and 11. Hey, you. Not Solomon 1 and 10. Billionaire Boys Club. That's right. You got to be living like billionaires out here because we the royal people. We worth more than that. Um, Songs of Solomon 1 and 10. Let me show you how we was decked out back in the day. This is the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 10. Thy cheeks are comely. Thy cheeks are comely. What's in the inside? With rows of jewelry. What? Jewels. Of jewels. Rows of jewels. We had back in the ancient world. So that's part of your heritage that we do that over here. You know what I'm saying? Because you're part of the chosen people. You ever heard you the chosen? You a God on earth before? You ain't never heard that? Give me Psalms 82. Let me show you what the most, the heavenly father, Yahweh, think about you, bro. What's your name? The white. The white? I bet, bet. I'm Taz, bro. Let me show you something. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 82, and verse 6. I have said. I have said. The heavenly father said to you, God. Ye are God. Ye are what? Ye are God. And all of you are children of the most high. Yeah, you are child of the most high. And, but you are God on earth. But you, but knowing that, you got to conduct yourself in a certain manner. So your God, Yahweh, the God of the Israelites, he got certain commandments he wants us to keep. You know what I'm saying? As being the chosen people of God. Look, so-called blacks, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians. We the chosen people. That's why they be trying to kill us in the street, lock us up in jail, do all that because they know who we really is. But we really don't know. So we out here to tell our people, like, basically, this is where you come from. You come from nobility. Come back to the Lord and really know who you is and do what you're supposed to do, bro. Keep these commandments. Let me tell you one more before you go. Give me Isaiah 42. I know you're in a rush. I ain't going to hold you too long. Isaiah 42 and 22. He in prison. It's the book of Isaiah chapter 42 and, and verse 22. But these is a but these is a people. But this is a people. This is a people. He talking about the Israelites, us. The ones you see on the corner, the ones we be chilling every day. You know what I'm saying? We, this is a people. Robbed and spoiled. Robbed and spoiled. Bro, they took everything from us. They took our name from us. Took our inventions. We didn't created all this, but then they'll say, oh, they made it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to finesse us, basically. Niggas trying to backdoor us, girl. They are all of them snared in holes. Snared in holes. You know, the word snare is an old English word, which means trap. What all our people talk about they in when we be rapping? <laughs> in the trap, nigga. I'm in the trap. Come get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they are hid in prison houses. Yo, what? They are hid in prison houses. Hid in prison houses. Who fill up the prison houses? Boom, us. So they let you know this was talking about the Israelites. So we the Israelites of the Bible. So we just letting our people know who they really are. Ain't no white man righteous. When you go in this Bible, all these was melanated people just like us. And you see that you see that guy right there? They say that's Jesus, but Jesus went no white. They tell you he had woolly hair, um, brown skin, dark skin. So if he walk around today, he'll look like a more he dark like Western Snipes with a Morgan Freeman hair. You see what I'm saying? Step on that guy right there, bro. He a op. Step on him. He ain't nobody. Get it. I'm, yeah, step on him. Step on him. You can step on him too. There you go. See, this right. is a lie that was perpetuated. No Christ looks just like you. Hey, your yeah, how was shot in the Hebrew. Heavenly Father, your yeah, how was you know the slave took it out of us you know what I'm saying and the indigenous Indians that was over here also so now we learning who we really is now you got to come back to it we gave, gave a little flyer right there look at that repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand I know you're an Israelite bro I you the chosen I'm a father I got you I bet you're safe out here man I'll pray repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand Oh, 
it's Amos chapter 6 and verse 4. Uh -huh. That lay upon beds of ivory uh -huh. and stretch themselves upon the couches. On the couch, yeah. You know, you know niggas love laying on the damn couch. Chilling. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Nigga ain't got nothing to do. He gonna lay on the couch. Stretched out. On some bro man. Right? And eat the lambs. Do what? And eat the lamb. Eat, you know they gonna eat something on the couch. Man, let me watch a little bit of um, power. Let me chill out, man. All right, guy. Out of the flock and the calves out of the midst of the star. That, they having a damn feast, man. Go ahead. That chant to the song, to the sound of, of the fire. The vial. And invent themselves instruments of music like they are music. Yeah, they, you know they love chilling on the couch, listening to music. Hey, how you doing, bro? You believe in God? Come here, man. All right, well, look, you got to take that. Come here, let me show you something. All right, you got to keep the commandments, all right? No, you're an Israelite. You said that. What's up with it, man? What God got going on, man? That drink wine in bowls. That do what? That drink wine in bowls. You know they drinking on the couch, drinking, having a damn jolly time. Go ahead. And anoint themselves with the cheap ornaments. How you doing, sis? No, you the chosen of God, all right, go ahead. What you, what you got going, man? Come here. What you got going? Huh? Now they got to just heading home. Heading home? Where you live at? Over where? Give me, give me Psalms 109 and 9. You believe in God? The God of the Bible? Yeah, I don't believe in religion. Okay. Why you don't believe in religion? I said, why you don't believe in religion? What it do to you? To me, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Why it don't make sense? No, God makes sense. I'm saying, saying why I don't. Like, what's some of them? Write me down. After there's no law, like, people wrote stuff down after God spoke. Okay. Okay, the prophets of the, the that's how the Lord, the prophets of the Lord wrote it down. Yeah, but go write something down. God what you mean? No, nah, they, they, yeah, they, they, they it don't work like that. The Lord was dealing with them in a different type of nah, in a different type of thing. Then. You're gonna pervert whatever you get told. Uh -huh. So what's in the Bible that's been perverted? Probably everything. Prove it. It's a blanket statement. I can't prove anything. Well, if you can't prove it, why would you say that? Well, because it's like I can't prove God exists, but I can prove that my belief. Uh, I can prove God exists. All right. Good luck. Uh, no, what you mean, good look? Give me um, Daniel um, 11. I, I don't really want to hear your belief of why you did well, I, well, I can let you know you going to, your people going into slavery for what they did to so-called blacks and Latinos. My people already were in slavery. Who your people? Who your people? people? Who was your people? What's your ethnicity? What? What's your ethnicity? Exodus. You said what? You an Israelite? Yeah. Well, they say the Israelites was melanated people. Right, it, but then... No, I'm saying, show me in the Bible how you came in the Exodus. Uh, well, you could read the. the prove article. that was you. You could just read the article where. No, I said prove that was you. Yeah, there's a thing in the Bible where God gets mad because uh, Moses' brother was going to marry a Nubian. And then, That's a lie. Yeah, exactly. That's all. No, you, what you're saying is a damn lie. You damn so bug out. You don't want to believe it, it's a lie. It ain't in there. It's a damn beat up no, case with. No, it's not. Prove it. Prove it. Moses, no, prove to me Aaron was trying to marry a Nubian woman. Go in the Bible. Where is it? You just said this. Yeah. Okay, show me Aaron wanted to marry a woman from Ethiopia in the Bible. On it, but it's not it. in there. Yeah, it is. All right, and, let's bet some money. God gave everyone let's bet money. God, Go find it. God gave everyone leprosy for basically. He gave everyone, so he gave everyone leprosy. He gave Aaron and his wife leprosy. Oh, you out of your damn mind. That was Miriam. You bugged out. Okay, so you was wrong, right? The point is. Nah, the point ain't nothing. Was you wrong? The point is. Were you wrong? No. How you look at this guy? He damn powerful as hell, man. Yeah, you damn leprechaun with the, ain't no telling what you do with that damn dog, man. All right, look at him. That's why he's probably limping now. Hell out of here. Finish, man. You know, you know these damn Edomites with dogs. You can't trust them, man. All right, look at this guy. He finished. Hey, I loved you in Back to the Future, man. Get the hell out of here. Go back. 
Hey, y'all believe in the Bible? No, y'all the chosen people of God. I ain't gonna snap on y'all. Y'all ever heard that before? You ain't heard that before? Hey, y'all better repent and get right. Because niggas dying every day out here. This is Amos 6. This is Amos 6 and 6. That drink wine and bowls and anoint themselves with cheap ointments. Cheap ointment, guy. But they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. How you doing, bro? What you got going? You play sports or something? Nah, not no more. Why not? Let me show you something. Let me show you what God want me to tell you. What did he tell you? Finn. You say, no, you're not. You better get right. Then you'll get saved with your damn bald head. Damn George Foreman head say you Buddy, a vagabond. That's why he said he lived. Hey, know y'all more than likely Israelites repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right? Verse 7. Oh, no, affliction. It says, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Now, what? They are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Yeah, so they not, our people not grieved for the affliction of Joseph, which is synonymous for Israel, man. All right, so our people got to be grieved. We grieve. So that's why we come out here and um, speak the truth. All right? Hey, how you doing, man? I know. You have a bad day. You like you was you just got out of damn wreck, man. What the hell wrong with you? Finish. Keep going. So our people not agree of what's going on with their people, man. So through the spirit of the Lord, we out here doing it. What's up with it, bro? You doing all right? You believe in God? Right, you, better, you ever heard you an Israelite before? You ain't heard you the chosen people of the God before? All right, don't you want to learn that? Nah, but you did. Y'all just want to go to the damn club, to the damn Rico, shoot it up with the damn Hellcat he got in his damn pocket. That security let him sneak in. Finish, man. What's up with it, bro? What you got? Come here, let me holler at you right quick. You believe in God, bro? Uh, you got to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. What the hell going on here, man? <laughs> finish. Y'all finish in America if y'all repent, man. Verse seven. Therefore now shall they go and go captive. Now shall they do what? Therefore now they shall go captive. Go captive. So that's why people came into captivity because they don't want to repent. They don't want to keep the commandments of their heavenly Father. All right. So that's what we are here to do through the Spirit of the Lord. Tell our people what they're doing wrong. Get the blood off our hands. Hey, and we're going to keep it moving. All right? Keep it. Says, with the first that go captive, and the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. The Lord God have sworn by, by himself. The Lord God have sworn by himself. Yahweh have sworn by himself. Read on. Said Yahweh, the power of hosts, I have whored the excellency of Jacob. What? Of Jacob, of Jacob, man, which is the Israelites, you so-called blacks and Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, all right? So with that, I want to say shalom and tell all my, well, through the Spirit of the Lord, tell y'all to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand.